Hey guys, my name is Gia and I just love to eat, laugh, lift. Today guys, I'm going to show you my recipe for vegan protein nuggets. This full recipe has 61.7 grams of protein, 40.6 grams of carbs, and 9.9 .9 grams of fat. And it's pretty freaking delicious if you ask me. Let's go ahead and get started guys. I hope you do like this. If you have any questions about the recipe, put down in the comments below. Or if you want me to try something else, just let me know. I'm going to start off first guys with just showing you the ingredients that I'm going to put in. Don't mind me as I look at my taped up notes. <laughs> um, and then I'll go through the cooking process with you guys. So the first thing that I have guys is one fourth cup of wheat gluten. Wheat gluten is uh, my primary source of protein for those that are not familiar. It is super high in protein, low in carb, and low in fat. So that's one fourth cup of wheat gluten. And then I'm gonna do one fourth cup of cornmeal. I'm gonna do one third cup of textured vegetable protein. So textured ve vegetable protein, guys, otherwise known as TVP, is made out of soy. This is not the normal kind of shape that you see at the supermarkets. In fact, I'd recommend maybe not to use these bigger chunks just because I I bought these thinking that I'd like to make some big chunk recipes out of it, but I ended up just chopping it up anyway. If you guys go to the grocery store, you'll see ones that are um, smaller bits. They kind of look more like breadcrumbs. Maybe like a Bob's Red Mill. Maybe I'll try, and try to find a photo and put it here for you guys. But I'd recommend you use those smaller um, bits for this recipe just because it's going to be easier for you guys. But what I've done, guys, with TVP, because what you saw is just super dry, I've got it already soaking in one half cup of water. So that's just going to get soft. Um, and you can see kind of what it looks like already. Um, and I'm going to chop it up. It does look funny, but I swear to you, it will be delicious in this recipe. And then I've got a plain old soy protein. I got this in the bulk section in my local grocery store. Um, I think maybe, I don't know if this is the same kind of like soy protein that you might get in like by the tubs at like a vitamin shop or something like that. But honestly, if you can find soy protein in the bulk section of your grocery store, it is way cheaper. And then two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. For those that are not familiar, nutritional yeast kind of tastes like cheese. I got that one in the bulk section of the grocery store as well. And then I've got one fourth teaspoon of just plain old salt. I used iodized salt just because we have a ton of it. I've used one teaspoon of onion powder. One fourth teaspoon of ground black pepper, just the plain old black pepper. I also use one fourth teaspoon of allspice just to give it a little bit of a kick. I don't really know that I can taste it in the recipe, but I put it there. So I'm going to tell you that I put it there <laughs> and I'm going to put it in this one when I cook it. Um, and then I also put half a tablespoon of just plain old Jif, just some plain old peanut butter. And I also have another one fourth cup of water. And you guys will see that I have my oil spritzer here. This is just avocado oil. I'm just going to spritz this on the pan when we get ready to cook. So guys, um, as I, I'm going to go ahead and put these ingredients together. And then once I've got them together, I'll show you what they look like. I'm going to go ahead and get two things heated, preheated on my stove. I've got just a pot of water. It's going to start to heat up. I'm going to put it on high. And then I'm going to put my pan on just under medium just to start to heat up because it's actually going to be pretty quick to put together. I'll be right back guys. So friends, I've got all the dry ingredients mixed up in this bowl already. I haven't properly incorporated everything, but I wanted to show you that it's all in there. And because I have the bigger chunks of TVP, textured vegetable protein guys, I'm going to go ahead and just chop this up really quickly because I don't want giant chunks in my nuggets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take this extra water and put it in the other water that I'm going to have. I'm going to put everything in the bowl anyway so it doesn't matter to me. I'm going to put that aside and then I'm going to chop these puppies up really quickly. Nice and rough, rough chop. I don't know if you guys can hear it but it's still a bit crunchy on the inside. That's fine. So if you guys get the smaller bits from the grocery store, the ones that look more like breadcrumbs, you don't have to go through this process. All you have to do is soak it and then put it in the bowl. But I have to go through this chopping process. Now, what I'm going to do, guys, I've got this all chopped up. I'm going to go ahead and just add it into my dry ingredients. 
before I add the water in. And the reason being is I just want to mix everything together dry so that it doesn't clump together with the water before I get everything well mixed together. So I'm just going to go ahead and mix it up. Mix it until it's pretty good. Then I am going to add all the water that I had that was the 1 4th cup plus the remainder of water that was soaked in the TVP in. And I'm just going to put that guy in there. And then I also had half a tablespoon of peanut butter that I needed to put in. So I'm just going to eyeball this. I really, normally guys, I trust me when I tell you when I cook, I'm normally just eyeballing. So I don't, uh, so me measuring things out <laughs> and actually telling you what I put in is very new to me. So I'm just mixing all of this together until everything is well incorporated. You'll see it starts to get thicker, it starts to come together a bit more, and there will be dry spots at the bottom. Make sure to just grab those. At one, at some point you're going to have to do this with your hands, so you're going to get rid of that dear spoon of ours. And we're going to take our hands and start putting it all together. So mixing everything together, making sure to get all those dry bits at the bottom. Make sure to wash your hands beforehand. Nobody wants dirty hands in food. And you should be able to pick up all the sides pretty easily at this point. I would suggest to smush it together and try to get things as evenly incorporated. Now what you're going to do guys is you're going to kind of make it into a sort of log. But I'm not going to make it into a perfect log. The reason being is because I want different sorts of texture or shapes when we get the nuggets together because what we're going to do is we're going to boil this guy for five minutes and then we're going to chop him up and then put him on a pan. So I'm going to let this rest for about five minutes here just to get together and be happy as one happy log. <laughs> and then we'll put it, we'll put it in the, in the water for five minutes. So guys, the log has been sitting here for about five minutes. I am going to just go ahead and reshape it a little bit, not to that perfect even shape across the board, because again, I want different shapes. What I'm going to do is just to help it cook in the water, I'm going to cut it in half, be careful not to let it lose that shape. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to plop these guys in boiling water. So I'm going to very carefully put it in the boiling water. That's going to sit in there for five minutes. Okay, so it's been five minutes. I am going to take this stove and turn that off. And I'm very carefully going to take these log halves and take it out of the pot very carefully. It may drip, it may fall apart and that's okay. The longer you cook it guys, if you cook it over five minutes, it's going to be mushier I guess. Some of the bits have fallen apart and that's totally fine. Let's scoop them out. Let it rest for a little bit so you don't burn yourself because the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to cut these logs up. This is what it looks like coming out of the boiling water. It doesn't look very appealing right now. And in a bit, I am going to spritz my pan with a little bit of oil. Not too much. I don't like to use a lot of oil in my cooking, so what I'll do is just spread it around. Because why do I need to have tons of oil in my food when I can have my fats somewhere else? This guy has cooled down a bit. I'm going to go ahead and very carefully chop it up. Let's move this aside. And you can see what I mean, guys, when I meant earlier that it didn't want it to be a perfect log because I do want those little dips. If you can see the little dips in the log, just for a different texture. So I'm chopping that into half inch pieces and you can see it's a pretty rough chop. That's okay. And some pieces are going to flatten out and that's okay too. So this is what it looks like chopped up, guys. Now I'm just going to carefully add it into the pan, preheated pan. 
which I, you can reshape them a little bit if you like. I'm going to go ahead and let that baby sit on that one side for, let's see how long, I'll tell you. And I should say, guys, even though I didn't put oil in the actual mixing bowl. I did calculate three grams of oil in my recipe just because I wanted to account for it in the in the pan since I spritzed it. So it's been sitting on this one side for about 10 minutes now. I'm going to go ahead and flip it. Every pan, every stove, and every oil is different. So just double check the underbelly of your um, of your nuggets to see if it's the color that you want. This is the color that I'm personally going for. You see that, mm-hmm, golden brown. I'm gonna go ahead and lightly spritz the pan while I flip. And I don't I don't really care about being too gentle. It might get a little bit stuck. If you guys put more oil, you won't have as many problems as I do with stuff getting stuck to the pan, but I don't like to use that much oil. Um, that's my life, that's my decision. So I'm going to go ahead and just spritz this side, spread that oil around just a little bit. I'm going to let that go ahead and sit. I've had it at just under medium heat for about another 10 minutes and then I decided I was going to put that temperature up over medium heat just for a couple more minutes and get a little bit more brown. Now I'm just going to go ahead and finish it up, put some salt on it, just for additional seasoning, and I'll show you what it looks like in a bit. hope I don't burn my hair. Cheers, guys. I hope you like it. It's so good. Mm. And by the way, what I just have on my plate is just some chipotle just mayo and some sugar-free uh, ketchup. Mm. It's like the inner kid in me eating. Mm. I can't stop eating, it's so good. If you guys try this recipe out, let me know what you do differently. Let me know if you like it. Put it in the comments below. If there's something that you want me to try, just let me know. Um, if this kind of stuff is helpful for you, if you like these kind of recipes, um, Give me a thumbs up and let me know so that I know to put more content up like this for you guys because I know there's a lot of questions about there about where do vegans get their protein? How come vegans, what, what about vegans? Do they just eat broccoli and spinach all the time? <laughs> no, we can have fun with our food too, guys, and it doesn't have to be bad for you. So this entire recipe, guys, I've already eaten so much, <laughs> is 61.7 grams of protein, 40.6 grams of carbs, and 9.9 .9 grams of fat. Um, if you guys aren't already following me on my social media platforms, and if you want to, feel free to do so. If you want to see more content from this mug, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. There's a notification bell down there, too. You can hit it. Ding, ding, ding. Every time this baby gorilla posts a video. <laughs> if you guys want to try this out, I also have the recipe in my website down below. I'll put it down in the description box. You can follow along there as well. But I hope you, do, you guys do try it. I sure do love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day. See you. And.